استاذ ابراهيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله النهارده ان شاء الله الـ الـ عندنا الـ يعني يمكن سابع سيشن في النيورو ايمجنج ان شاء الله هيبقى فيه اربع محاضرات استاذنا الاستاذ الدكتور محمد بورج استاذ الاشعاف طب المنصوره استاذ الدكتوره رشا الشافعي استاذ الاشعاف طب طنطا استاذ الدكتور فاتن فوزي استاذ الاشعاف الزازي دكتور محمد العدلاني استاذ الاشعاف طب المنصوره يعني ان شاء الله طبعا كل الساده الاساتذه الافاضل اللي معانا يعني اغنياء عن التعريف يعني وان شاء الله يكون يوم مفيد لكم جميعا اول محاضره هتكون لاستاذنا الدكتور ايوه نبدا اول لاين Today is uh, uh, this Muhammad Borg from Mansoor University. Today we'll dis we'll discuss some new cases. First case: 35 year old female. No, no, no not believe this, this is the number one. You can uh, any question you can uh, ask in the chat, and then after we will uh, we will answer it, inshallah. So this 35. 35 year the old female ah so this is t2 t2 weighted image what is this i will what is this these are cyst like lesions with high bone tense wall and marked peripheral edema where in what because location here is very important here is in in the timbral loop so let us see the next one yes in the timbral loop here we have the lower down we have the ear internal ear there is there is fluid there's fluid inside the middle ear and probably the mastoid cell and here is the after contrast t1 with contrast there is smooth thin continuous enhanced wall and hypo intense collection inside non-enhanced collection so again in the coronal plane post contrast t1 there is enhancement here in the ear so what is this hmm? yes looks like abscess Abs abscesses this is the pre-contrast and here look at here this this is the capsule and inside the capsule hypo intense capsule we have seen in, in the in the, in the t2 weighted image this is flare there's inside it there is a, a, another another rim but this one is hyper hyper intense so this is dual rim sign this is very important continuous smooth double rings 
so this is can differentiate it from the from yes from the cortic tumor our cystic necrosis when the cystic necrosis of the tumor we can uh, have uh, rim enhancement but we will not have this uh, continuous smooth dual rim sign so and both contrast in in, in the uh, diffusion weighted image here this is hyper intense hyper intense and here this is hypo intense so there is in the uh, on the edc map so this is restriction of brain abscess with chronic subrotated median showing dual rim sign the brain abscess which is showing dual rim sign so dual same sign is seen in 75 percent of cerebral abscesses it's, it can differentiate it is helpful in the differentiating uh, abscess from glioma uh, it appears on t2 weighted image flare and susceptibility weighted image right. weighted image, you will see it in the next case inshallah so this is the uh, two concentric rims dual rim sign outer rim is high intense and inner rim is high bar intense it is smooth in 90 percent of the case and complete in 75 percent of the case it is the inner ring hyper intense ring is postulated to be or assumed to be um, 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 uh, granulation tissue and uh, the outer one is the uh, fibro collagenous uh, capsule this is another case 22 year old female yes here so this is another cyst like lesion here it is it's high bone intense wall so we will and another one here and the other side so it is multiple in on flare there is double rim sign here also and look at here please on the on the t2 weighted image there is projections inside projection so there's inside there's projections from the wall after contrast there is smooth rim enhancement without enhancement of the projections here the, here the same so the same smooth rim enhanced rim with central non-enhanced collection fluid So this is the post contrast and this is due to weighted images, plenty of edema. And here this, what is this? This is diffusion weighted image and here there's hyper intense and it turns to hyper intense on ADC map. So it is eh, wall diffusion restriction of the wall. But the center is, we'll see here. So this is the after contrast, after contrast, same. And here, this is a T2 weighted image. And in the ADC uh, uh, map, the wall is, peripheral wall is restricting. And you see also the projection, which was not enhanced here. So this is enhanced, this is high bar intense wall on diffusion weighted image, which it turns high bar intense on ADC map. So this is diffusion restriction in the wall, uh, but still the center is high bar. So this is the diagnosis is fungal abscess. So when you have diffusion restriction in the wall without center, correlates with fungal abscess rather than a biogenic abscess it is believed to be iron in the uh, uh, in case iron in the in the periphery of this fungal abscess so 30 kids 32 years old female what is this so this is in the brain stem So, 
and it has also five bus capsule or, 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 or high bone intensity capsule. So uh, are we dealing with uh, abscess, but it is not common site for, 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 for abscess. So let us see, see here the, the, the previous case. We have it close to the uh, ear. So abscess uh, uh, usually reaches the parenchyma the of the of the brain from the ear, infected ear, or infected paranasal sinuses, frontal sinus or small sinus. So we have here also the edema in the midbrain. This is one T1 without contrast, and this is flare, double rim sign. That's a smooth, high bone intense, and the inner high bone intense rim. Smooth, enhanced wall. So this is brainstem, unusual location for, for, for a brainstem abscess, but it, it, it can. So this is brain abscess, brainstem abscess, brainstem abscess in the bones, brainstem abscess with enhancement, and after uh, in the diffusion weighted image there is this hyper intense signal which becomes hyper intense in ADC map, so there is diffusion restriction in the core, in the center of the of this abscess. So this is tractography. We see here the um, tracts in the brain stem are displaced but are not destroyed. So displacement but no evident destruction. See? So this is brain stem abscess. 14 year old female, another kid. Here, you can see here, it, it, there is also cyst-like area here with high bone intense and relatively high bone intense center. So let us see here, it is coming inside, contents is coming inside the occlusion or no, or, or no flow signal in the, in the uh, distal internal carotid artery. So why, why, why it is, uh, uh, there is flow signal in the middle cerebral and there is no flow signal in the anterior cerebral artery. Let us see the internal cerebral artery, the anterior cerebral artery. Anterior cerebral artery will, 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 would have signal if, if there is the anterior communicating artery. So uh, this is open uh, ring. Uh, 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 and what about the uh, middle cerebral artery? Usually there is collaterals. So there is collaterals, plenty of collaterals between the, um, and in this uh, relatively young uh, patients. So there is, um, um, uh, 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 there is refilling of the middle cerebral uh, artery from the uh, uh, posterior cerebral circulation. Again, this is the uh, when we w when we are looking on the MRA, please you should check with the source image. So, in the source image, we can see that the. Uh, 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 here there is no flow signal. Uh, uh, is it marked stenosis or it is uh, or, or it is occlusion? We cannot see because the, usually the exaggeration by MRA. So it is you can see marked stenosis or occlusion. You cannot differentiate. So this is the. T1, and this is the uh, vascular territory. You can see the anterior cerebral artery uh, territory in the uh, near the midline. So in the in the parasagittal region, in the parasagittal region, this is the same as the as the area we we were in, in in that orange color. This is the area of the anterior cerebral artery. So infarction, you should should have signal in the cortex and subcortex and in uh, uh, an arterial territory. 
until stable artery subacute infarction with distal internal carotid artery occlusion or marked stenosis. So, number six is 55 year old female. Ah, here T1 weighted image. What we have here is high bar intense signal in the in the basal ganglia in the, in the, in the, in the, and in the thalamus. So this is uh, globus validus. This is subtle high bar intense signal. Uh, this is with contrast, so there is no enhancement. And uh, uh, same in the uh, midbrain area, or cerebellar bronchials. So, what do you think? There's no other thing. Here is in the in the uh, cerebral bronchials we have bilateral. Uh, signal on T2 weighted image. So this is what we call middle cerebral sign, middle cerebellar sign, middle. So this is acquired the non wellsonian hepatocellular degeneration, uh, middle cerebellar uh, bronchial sign on T2 weighted image and on T1 weighted image we will have uh, we can have uh, high high bar intense signal on, on on T1 weighted image in the globus validus and sometimes in the subthalamus and in the uh, brain stem in the midbrain so this is uh, acquired non wilsonian hepatocellular degeneration it occurs with patient with chronic uh, it can okay, not not in all patients, but it can be seen in the patient with uh, cirrhotic chronic liver disease. So this is the number seven, fifty-one year old female. What is this? A signal void here. Signal void here with hyper intensity area at the periphery here on T two and T one weighted image on on T two weighted and T one weighted image. There is same, no signal except the wall, and here is the same area, peripheral area, in, inside this uh, signal void uh, uh, structure. So what is the this site? So in MRI, not only the signal, it is the site also is very important. So this is the site of, yes site of internal carotid artery. So this is internal carotid artery aneurysm. This is flare. We can have a, a signal inside an aneurysm, especially when it is large. It can be, uh, it, it is usually due to uh, uh, mural thrombus, but, but you sh should consider also uh, the turbulence from the flow can, can cause is a signal as an artifact, moving artifact, motion artifact. So this is the MRA, and here is the uh, uh, signal. Is it all the lumen? No, no. It can also be here because the 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 uh, uh, MRA time of flight, MRA usually there is uh, not complete. Uh, separation of the signal from the background. So we can still have the uh, uh, methemoglobin will, will create signal also. So this is the MRA again. This is the uh, collective. This is T2 weighted image, T2 weighted image, and here's the structure again. You can see here the uh, same again. So this is internal carotid artery aneurysm, three year, next case, three year old girl. This is extra axial cystic area in, on T2 weighted image. 
so it is uh, it expands the uh, the temporal fossa displaces the uh, parenchyma brain parenchyma here they displace the cortex and you can see the the vessels bile vessels are displaced here so this is extra axial uh, cystic like area follows the uh, CSF let us see here this is on uh, filaire it is the same this building so it is extra axial and this is typical site of yes arachnoid cyst so this arachnoid cyst and it, uh, it, uh, it it extends in the in the sylvian fissure this place is somewhat timber lobe it extends over the uh, convexity in the set but the uh, frontal and brighter lobe are still not so much displaced so this is extra axial lesion this is extra axial lesion yes on, on diffusion weighted image here on diffusion weighted image it is black so it is hyper intense and hyper intense so there is no restriction of the diffusion it follows the signal of the csf inside the ventricle you can compare it with here so it is no restriction of the diffusion facilitated diffusion like csf so it is arachnoid type 2 type 2 uh, type 2 uh, cyst which extended superiorly along the sylvian fissure occasionally displacing the temporal lobe uh, uh, and the uh, type 3 cyst which uh, 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 will occupy the middle cranial fossa and displaces the uh, and not only the timber lobe but also the uh, parietal and the frontal lobe uh, how are you we we are seeing this uh, this classification because they will consider uh, fenestration and they will see if it is a uh, uh, they can do also ventriculostomy cell uh, ventriculostomy endoscopic the ventriculostomy uh, and here because there is the important structure here the optic chiasm and the, and the vessels internal carotid artists so they, they want to know uh, how is the window they can work in hmm. oh this is the 32 year old female oh let us see here so this is the extra axial i see widening extra axial mass widening the ipsilateral cistern or narrowing of the uh, contralateral cistern look at here it is it is going inside the interstices the 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 buckets of the of the narrow buckets of the of the csf cisterns here and it is like like, like, like this so the, the dr osborne of of, of uh, utah school of medicine she I, I she used it to say like uh, cauliflower imbibing the sauce when when you put the uh so this is uh, inside it there is septal septations this septation they, they call it less like septation some people call called the dirty csf but this is not csf so it is huh? same on on filaire this is the a beer more uh, evident here the enter the enter uh, 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 septal inside the lumen inside the so it is not cyst. Which I say, so it is. It is better to call it eh, epidermoid. So this is the epidermoid. On diffusion weighted image, there is important point, uh, point here. It is hyper, hyper on diffusion weighted image, and on ADC map. What is this? Is it hyper? Yes, it is hyper to the brain parenchyma, but it is lower in signal than the uh, 
uh, stay safe. So saying it is it, 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 it is restricting diffusion, it is not good. It is it restricted diffusion relative to CC safe. Because diffusion, when, when, when we see this, uh, the diffusion is the movement of the uh, molecules of, 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 of water. Um, um, uh, 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 how we can judge on, 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 on the EDC value by, by EDC value? So um, uh, uh, we, we judge it relative to the surrounding barinke mic. So it is not absolute restriction. So epidermoid cause restriction relative to the CSF, but it is not restricting really, really, relative, relative re, in relation to the surrounding uh, brain uh, parenchyma. So again, there is no enhancement, or you may have some subtle enhancement of the septa. Here also, there is no enhancement, no significant enhancement, and yeah, it causes compression. Yes, it goes. Although it 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 it, uh, it goes inside the uh, digitation, the inside the the cisternes, but it is still large one, so it causes uh, brain stem uh, compression here or displacement. And so this is T two weighted image again. So this is. Uh, epidermoid, CB angle dermoid, and extend this uh, baracilla region. You can see it in, in, in the inside the, in the uh, around the cella. So, and on diffusion weighted image, it is it is it restriction. There is restriction relative to the CSF, not absolute uh, restriction. Uh, Twenty-five year old male. What is this? This lesion here on T2 weighted image, and this is another not very obvious lesion. Huh? But here on susceptibility weighted image, you can it is very clear now. So it is blooming. Blooming is 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 is, is like uh, flowering, flowering. يعني مزهرة أو إحنا بنقول عليها الشموع السوداء. ف فالمنوره يعني منوره بالشموع السوداء يعني لكن it is blooming so this is blooming of what multiple huh? and with this hemocidin ring here huh? so it is multiple cavernomas or uh, cavernous hemangiomas or simply cavernomas uh, this is what is the same on t in, on t two weighted image. There is less lesion here than the susceptibility weighted image, and this is what we call popcorn appearance, like the popcorn fissure. And on t two weighted image, there is some, but we will compare it with susceptibility weighted images. SCWI, uh, uh, I mean, there is much more. Eh? Uh, uh, lesions. This is the popcorn appearance. Much more lesion on susceptibility weighted image. Again, this is a flare image. And this is T1 weighted image. This is uh, diffusion weighted image, and this is the ADC map. Um, it is high bow, mainly high bow on 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 on, on diffusion weighted image. Uh, image uh, is complex on 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 diffusion weighted image. So just, uh, but 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 we can use the. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, B zero. This is the one without the gradient. This is the one just as the T two. But it is uh, I, I I'm sorry. It is it is gradient T two weighted image. We can use it for as a gradient T two weighted image or T 
جي تو ستا زي بي زيرو فاميليال كافيرناس انجيومس سو ات از مالتيبل كافيرناس انجيوما ات كان ابير اون جريديانت او سستبيلتي ويتد ايمج بيتر ذان ذا جريديانت سو بليز وين يو سي ذا تو او ثري ليجن just to make the uh, gradient or susceptibility to weighted image, you will see many, many lesions. And this is important for the line of treatment afterwards. Uh, a familial, multiple familial cavernomas. It can be missed on conventional, it's been echo sequence. Uh, uh, if, if there is recent bleed, there will be edema around. And it doesn't enhance, but sometimes it enhances in few cases. Um, newborn, newborn girl. What is it? This is T2 weighted image. Here they can, you can see the cord. The cord, T2 weighted image with fat suppression. So there is, uh, uh, and there is something bulging here. Something bulging here with linear. Is it this linear? Is it the nerve? And this is the uh, nervous element. Or so let us see the. So this is the again. It is on T two and T one weighted image. The cord reaching down to the into the lumbosacral region, uh, and there's a bulging of the meninges containing CSF in the. Uh, lumbosacral region and there is also uh, uh, neural elements running to the neural black coat exposed the neural black coat here so it is it, it can be covered with uh, fat so it is white but uh, white defect in the posterior elements and this is bulging meninges so this is meningocele so what else you will, 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 will you wanted to make for this myelo uh, meningocele? Let us see. This is the two weighted image. So ah, take it to the brain directly because to look for the brain. What we can see in the brain. Here you can see the uh, posterior fossa is shallow. You can see it, 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 it is close to the uh, foramen magnum and it is by, by this size. So here, here it is also crowded here, crowded posterior fossa. So it is, you look at really the cerebellum is wrapping around the, uh, the brain stem. Ah, look at higher, high, higher up, you can have the beaking of the tectum. And what is this? This is colbocephaly. This dilatation of the trigon and the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle. So what is this? This is interhemispheric cystic area. Is it the third ventricle or third ventricle connected to the uh, interhemispheric cyst here? And the, and the, so we can see what, what it is. Uh, the same we'll, we'll, we'll see when, when, when there is a uh, corpus callosum dysgenesis. So let us see here. Huh. What is this? So oh, there's beaking of the tictum here. There's uh, downward displacement of the uh, uh, shallow, very shallow the bosteophos, very shallow bosteophos. So this is the uh, Colbocephaly and Colbocephaly. So we are and third ventricle. So we are uh, again on, 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 on CT. There is Colbocephaly and parallel medial wall of the lateral ventricles with interhemispheric cyst here. So there's separation apart of the lateral ventricles. So uh, we are talking about corpus callosum dysgenesis with overriding the third ventricle. And 
shallow crowded posterior fossa look at here what is this you can you, you can have the brightest spot of the uh, of the pituitary um, dislocated so this is Cayari to malformation or what we call Arnold Cayari malformation meningocele and the and shallow uh, posterior uh, fossa with uh, with the uh, corpus callosum uh, uh, this is the association usually when there's um, congenital malformation you should look for the uh, other associated uh, uh, findings so syringohyomalia you can have syringohyomalia in, in Arnold de Cayari uh, 2 in our in Cayari 2 malformation uh, you can have scoliosis you can have cleavage files and uh, uh, syndrome or segmentation anomalies. You can have agenesis of the colbus callosum, or better call it this genesis of the colbus callosum, absent septum bellucidum, obstructive hydrocephalus, like in this case. Uh, you can have uh, dilatation of the ventricle. Uh, so, myelomene, you see, must be repaired in the neonatal period. Of course, it, it is not covered by skin, so sh it should uh, be uh, restored inside the spinal canal. Uh, 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 at this time, it may not be the, the, uh, the, the, the this phacomatosis which causes the, um, the tissue of the cord, but afterwards, the patient can develop uh, these are the these are the code form adhesions, rather than the dysraphism itself. I I I, I meant the dysraphism. Uh, so it can be uh, the these are the code in this case can be acquired from the adhesions, which uh, develops after the operation. Uh, oh, this is 19 years old um, male. This is what is this? Seringo hydromyelia inside the cord. So our old cernix inside the cord. What do we see here? There is like big nose, like the nose of the big anfil anfil khanzir or halouf. Halof lower zakar al khanziria. This is the syrinx. So we can see on 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 sagittal or on axial. And look at here. So this is the. What is this? This is the level of the from in magna. Hmm? from the cortex of the clivus here to the cortex of this occipital bone and then this is the tonsils. So in the tonsil descend about uh, 12 millimeter or more uh, and there is also descent of the cervical, this flattening of the medulla and the cervical medulla junction is, uh, is displaced down looks like this place down because of the obsequy obics here is this place down uh, so this is the descent of the cerebellar tonsil we can measure this when this when so this is arnold Cayari one and a half why we said one and a half uh, uh, uh malformation it is when uh, one and a half Cayari malformation is the uh, well, well, it it is bulbar variant of Cayari one malformation. Uh, yeah, it is it is higher degree higher degree of Cayari one malformation when the cerebellar tones is her herniation more more. Yeah, if 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 the cerebral tonsils uh, herniates more than twelve millimeter. And the uh, medulla oblongata is appears to be down, so we can call it uh, uh, Kayari 
uh, one and a half malformation. It is it, it it is one variant of of Kayari one malformation, but more descent of the uh, cerebellar tonsils and mid and the brain stem. Now, so this is uh, 13, 17 year old male. What is this? This is post contrast. Post contrast. T1 weighted image. And what is this? This there is mass. Where is the mass inside the what is this? On both sides and this is the internal carotid artery. So this is the cavernous sinus. So this is tumors of the cavernous sinus enhanced homogeneous enhancement with uh, uh, meningeal 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 based masses huh? meningeal so let us see here let us see here this is the higher up on, on t1 weighted image look at the signal it is not high on flare and on t2 weighted image it is even hypo intensity than the cortex compared to the cortex it is hypo huh? so are dealing with uh, uh, tumors which are uh, hypo intense on or, or iso intense on or which are not higher uh, high signal on uh, t2 weighted image uh, yes so we are dealing with uh, lymphoma so the lymphoma when there is uh, when it is secondary lymphoma there is leptomeningeal lesions and there can be also uh, tumors or, or tumor invasion of the of the of the uh, cavernous sinus uh, either from the uh, the leptomeningeal process or or more from the uh, perineural spread around the mandibular uh, nerve obviously hmm? I, I, I think it can be here also from that. So this is secondary lymphoma. Secondary lymphoma is uh, here also we can have uh, meningeal enhancement from the uh, uh, leptomeningeal uh, disease. So it is back meningeal is the ora and the leptomeningeal is the uh, arachnoid and the biometer. Um, so this is uh, on diffusion restriction. There is, there is, huh? on 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 there is restriction, restriction. So it is high bar cellular tumor, most likely lymphoma, when we are coping with the uh, leptomeningeal uh, lesions. So this is the uh, homogeneous homogeneous enhancement of the cavernous uh, component, uh, cavernous sinus. Tumor can be a direct invasion from craniopharyngioma, pituitary adenoma, chordoma. We'll see also pituitary uh, adenoma here in this, and uh, uh, and or, or metastasis. Uh, secondary scene. This is a secondary diagnosis. Secondary scene is lymphoma with leptomeningeal lesions and cavernous sinus invasion. So leptomeningeal invasion, it can also lead to uh, the secondary lymphoma. Uh, it means there is a primary, there, there is affection of the other organs, like uh, cervical lymph nodes or, or spleen, or, uh, and, uh, and there is uh, dissemination to the uh, 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 primary CNS lymphoma. It is primary occurring inside the brain. So, uh, CNS lymphoma uh, secondary will be more leptomeningeal. But parenchymal lesions in, 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 in secondary lymphoma, uh, or secondary CNS lymphoma can, can also occur. But in primary CNS lymphoma, it, 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 uh, Leptomeningeal lesion is not common, so it is parenchymal. So primary is parenchymal. Thirty-seven year old female, male. 
So what is this? This is high bar intense on D1 weighted image. Look at here, there's some high bar intensity here on, 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 on D1 weighted image. Oh, what is this? What is this high bar intensity? And this is high bar intensity. So high bar intense signal on the, as either uh, blood or commonly blood or fat. So this is floating here, floating here in the frontal horn. So it is more fat, and inside the how 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 how, how inside the uh, cisterns. So how 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 can this happen? Oh, this is the same, but this is after contrast injection. There is enhancement of the meninges here, leptomeninges here. So this is high bar intensity on T1 weighted image. High bar intensity on T1 weighted image. No enhancement and high bar on 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 uh, on on t2 also but less high bar than uh, than the t1 so this is ruptured demoid so the leakage of lipid from the in the subarachnoid space or in or, or in the meninges like in this case uh, can lead to aseptic chemical meninges like i could see and there's meningeal enhancement uh, but presentation, uh, clinical presentation variable it can range from headache, just headache to seizure to muscle spasm and this, and even this. Three year old, old male. So, what is this? This is important. Case. This is uh, what is this? This is lesion where in the bones. So, there's enlargement of the bones, enlargement of, of the brain, expansion of the brain stem. The anti like this. This is important thing. So what is this? There is no enhancement. We used to say in the days, golden days, it is uh, the enhancement of the brain stem tumors doesn't give uh, clue, doesn't correlate with the uh, grading of the tumor. So high grade tumor can cannot enhance but and even low grade uh, uh, tumors can enhance it is uh, it, 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 it is but uh, expansion and there's no enhancement no enhancement there's hydrocephalus higher up there's hydrocephalus so this is the uh, uh, diffusion uh, weighted image and the ADC map it, uh, it is not restricted and it is this is expected uh, uh, yeah. so this is the this is the uh, displays the ventricle flattening of the ventricle and the expansion of the so it is brain stem tumor and when stem tumor will manifest as uh, uh, cranial nerve uh, bolses, multiple cranial nerve bolses. Usually, the the manifestation is there. So it is diffuse midline. What is diffuse midline glioma? I will return it again. So midline. Uh, uh, this is a diffuse midline glioma or H3 uh, K27M mutation. It is a, a, a gene mutation tumor. Uh, it, it is a specific entity added to the uh, 2016 uh, update of, of WHO classification of the <laughs> tumor. So it diffuses uh, intrinsic bontine tumor uh, mostly in the majority of cases, but it can also occur in, in any part of the brainstem, spinal cord, or, or the thalamus. So now the the clinical the, now the classification of the of the this uh, tumors is high grade grade four tumor regardless of the imaging feature 
uh, it means that what we used to say non-enhancing high-grade tumor, it, it is true here. So if the lesion is not enhancing, even if, 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 if the histological uh, features doesn't mean high-grade, it is high-grade. It is high-grade. So it is grade for tumor. And the, the prognosis is, 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 is poor. It is only 20 years old. Uh, it turns to, to uh, two years, two year old, uh, two year survival rate. Uh, uh, diffusion mean, uh, can be found in anything, but but it is it can be in the thalamus, brainstem, the three parts, and in the spinal cord. The spinal cord tumor usually it, 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 it usually occurs in 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 in, uh, in, uh, in the children, but adult can occur. And when it occurs in adult, you can have the spinal cord uh, lesions. So this five-year-old male. The same, or it goes so quickly. The same thing, like the on expansion of the bones, expansion of the bones. So, so look at this. See, see here that Doctor Muhammad Hafiz uh, last uh, uh, conference. He he put this uh, uh, new plastic MR, um, uh, MRS. So new plastic pattern. So there is a neoplastic pattern of this MRS. There is high choline, there is decrease of NA, A, and there is creat uh, decrease. And there is also here the, like glial tumor, the, 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 the MI, denoting uh, myonistol, denoting in. And there is lipid, lipid. So it is. Uh, lipid lactate. So there's necrosis here. So necrosis is a hallmark of the uh, uh, glioma. So it is uh, mid diffuse midline glioma affecting the bones here. So 24 year old female. I think it is. Uh, uh, so what is this location? It is in the between the two internal carotid artery. So this is the enlarged cella with tumor inside. This is post contrast. This is post contrast, and there is engulfing of the uh, internal carotid artery on the left side here. Huh? So there is. Uh, Coughing or encasement of the internal carotid artery is an indirect sign of 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 what of cavernous sinus invasion. So cavernous sinus invasion is, is important to 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 report when you have pituitary macroadenoma. So this is pituitary macroadenoma, pituitary macroadenoma. The signal on T T two weighted image is iso intense nearly to the cortex. Um, so, but you tell macroadenoma, it is uh, more than 10 millimeter. I think that is, there is compression of the uh, uh, optic chiasm on the top of the. So, this is between macroadenoma with cavernous sinus invasion. Um, Bolactin secreting tumors are most frequently responsible for cavernous sinus extension. Yeah, I'm going to say that when we find the bolactin from 90% to 100%, there's a suspicion of, of uh, mycoadenoma. When we find it of pituitary adenoma, when we find it from 90% to 100%, من 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 مية المية ومية وعشرين يبقى إيه يبقى هاي suspicion of the pituitary adenoma if it is more than مية وعشرين نانو غرام level serum prolactin يبقى فيه هاي suspicion of cavernous sinus invasion so when 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 it reaches cavernous sinus the cavernous sinus it is usually uh, there's usually high prolactin uh, secretion. Uh, 
uh, only non security is, is 35 percent but uh, security are security adenomas are 65 percent <coughs> this is 32 year old female this is small inside the so the pituitary uh, gland this is t1 with contrast pituitary gland usually lacks the brain brain barrier so if there is mass or tumor it will not take enhancement but the rest of the pituitary tissue eh, because of the lack of the of the of the uh, of the uh, blood brain barrier it will uh, be uh, early enhance it huh? so it will appear the uh, the adenoma micro adenoma here will appear as a as filling defect inside the enhanced pituitary uh, tissues uh, this is pituitary micro adenoma so this is uh, we'll go quickly there's um, it, it, there's two more cases pituitary uh, micro adenoma it is it's a 19 year old male. It is a large pituitary adenoma with engulfing or encasement of so there is cavernous sinus invasion here with hemorrhage. Oh, this is the encasement of the of the hemorrhage. Hemorrhage is usually after treatment uh, with bromocryptin or so, so drugs, uh, dopamine drugs. So so it is. Uh, uh, let, let, let us see here. When, when you have large, large pituitary uh, macroadenoma, uh, there is also chance of what is called uh, is, is a stock effect. The stock effect is when it is large, it will affect the uh, hypothalamic uh, pituitary axis. So this uh, hypothalamic it carries inhib inhibitors for the pituitary. So when you relieve this separation, you will have more prolactin. So either it is uh, the prolactin is, is secreted from the gland itself or from the compression of the uh, hypothalamic pituitary axis or stuck effect. Pituitary stuck effect. Stock effect. Pituitary stock effect. So this is the bituta macroadenoma with hemorrhage and cavernous sinus invasion. So this is the, I think this is the last case, the same we have seen before. But uh, look at see, this, this is the um, similar case. Uh, this is the frontal horn and this, there is a uh, wide apart and this called bucephaly. But look at here, this undulation of the of the margin of the ventricle with scalloping of the margin with bursty or decreased the size of the uh, baraventricular white matter. This is what we call the uh, the Vicong helmet uh, helmet uh, appearance or Mohs appearance, uh, like deer with horns, the Razel or وهنا هوت الرأس بتاعته هوت يبقى دي ال 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 بتاع actually when you have here you have here pubis bundle pubis bundle it is the when you when you have the incomplete or 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 corpus callosum degenesis a pubis bulb will 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 have impression here and it will separate the frontal horn like about so the this will create the uh, race car appearance, racing car sign. So this is the no corbusculosum here. It may be, uh, this is remnant from it. So it is corbusculosum dysgenesis. You can see the also the uh, guy eye fanning here, like a fan. So this is the uh, all, yani, somewhat parallel uh, or, or separation about of this and some interhemispheric uh, uh, cyst separated about wide about uh, lateral ventricle so this is called basculosum dystinis with baraventricular leak militia usually it is uh, uh, if you ask this patient you can see when when he was born he was admitted to the uh, 
um, to the neonatal ICU. So because of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, so this is uh, the sequelae of hypoxic baroventricular uh, leukomalacia. Uh, so this is called bucocephaly, this is the last case, I think. So this is in, 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 in at the site of the, of the corpus callosum. This lady has uh, also at the site of corpus callosum and in the choroid plexus. There's is high signal, high signal, and now it is clear. So it is pericallosal, so this is pericallosal uh, liboma local liboma and there is extension in the in the coid black and this is uh, not uncommon uh, now this is the biobest fiber as we said before bobist 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 fiber so this is the corbus callosa this genus is also and this is uh, uh, a uh, liboma. Here, this is the B0 diffusion weighted image. We use it as as because in, in, in it we usually have fat separation. So fat separation in 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 in, 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 in this case will will have separation of this uh, uh, lesion. So it is a bericalosal liboma. So thank you so much. Is there can be a question? If there is any question. Uh, هو شال ال شال البتاع على طول شال الشير على طول thank you very much اه اه انا ما عندي مش مش غادي يطلع عليه يعني اه لكن ال 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 السلايس مش السلايس نفسها مش باين طيب ل... 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 يعني مش م... م... مش باينه ال... اه 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 طيب آه... طيب مش باينه الشريط اللي, اللي فيه حد ليه اسئله ولا حاجه في ال... في الحلقه لو سمحت دكتور محمد بعد اذن حضرتك اه الحلقه رقم 13 10 13 13 تقريبا يعني رقم 13 اللي هي اللي هي الليمفوما تقريبا ايوه ايوه اتفضل يعني ايوه ليه ليه مش ليه مش من انجيوما يا دكتور محمد؟ آه مش من انجيوما ليه؟ اه هو اساله اجيه بس يعني هل من انجيوما يعني تتوقع ان هي هتبقى سيمتريكال كده في الـ في الـ في الـ في الـ في, في, في البص بتاع في ال في البص هي هو 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 ده كان 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 اكشوالي كيس نون اوف 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 نون كيس اوف ليمفوما يعني هيستوري بتاعه الليمفوما برايمر يعني يعني شوي اوت سايد زي سي ان اس يعني اه اه فدي كلينيكالي اول حاجه كلينيكالي اه هو سؤال وجيه لكن لكن ليه يعني هل احنا بنشوف ان سايز دي كافيرنال ساينس من انجيوما هو ممكن تبقى في الديفرنشال دايجنوزس اللي اه اه بس ما تبقاش بال ما تبقاش بالشكل ده كده صح آه. هل 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 ممكن من انجيوما تبقى هايبو انتنس اون تي 1 ويتد ايمج اه يعني لا هو ديفرنشال دايجنوزس كويس مع مع معقول يعني بس كلينيكالي ات واز ليمفوما يعني فده اه اه البتاع ماشي ماشي آه وبعدين احنا شفناها حتى يعني ايفن ان هي في في الكورونال آه واصله لل 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 وصل لغايه الفورامينا يعني ها وصل لغايه الفورامينا يعني فدليل على ان هي ممكن تكون يعني ما فيش من انجيوما يعني ممكن من انجيوما توصل اه بس يعني مش في التو سايز يعني فدي يدل على انها سيستميك يعني ديزيز اكتر من ان هو يعني ايه يعني يعني او وايد ديزيز اكتر من ان هو يعني لوكال ليمفوما يعني تمام. لكن هو لكن هو يعني 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 ديفرنشال دايجنوز كويس يجب ان احنا نفكر فيه لو لقينا ايه كمان لو لقينا معاه ايه 
لو 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 هو ان اف 2 ولقينا معاه بالظبط اه بالظبط فيستيبلر شوانوما بس ما كانش معاه فيستيبلر شوانوما فانا اه اه ما فيش بس يعني في في الايج الصغير برضه دي عندنا احنا قلنا 17 سنه ممكن تبقى 1 1 فيستيبلر شوانوما يعني والثانيه مش باينه مش لازم يبقى بايلاترال يعني آه. يعني لما يكبر شويه هيلاقي عنده بس يعني دي ما كانش فيه ودي كانت حاله معروفه ان هي ليمفوما يعني تمام تمام شكرا دكتور محمد فال 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 بتاع دكتور محمد اي حد لان ايوه اتفضل دكتور محمد حاله أيوة حاله حاله ال... ال... البرين ستيم جلايوم اللي هو الديفيوز بونتاين ايوه 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 اه اه هي طبعا مش مش انهانسد هل آه آه. آه يعني يعني طبعا النون انهانسمنت كرايتيريا وال يعني دي من الفيشر اللي احنا عارفينه اللي احنا عارفينه ان هو الهاي جريد دايما تبقى انهانسد آه. اه بس ده من 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 2016 كانت التقسيمه بتاعت ال دبليو اتش او كانت التقسيمه بتاعت ال دبليو اتش او ان هم يحطوا التيومر ديت ايفن Uh, regardless of the uh, of the enhancing pattern or, or morphology, يعني on 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 the on the uh, MRI uh, and regardless of the even the the histopathology, يعني لو خدوا منها بيوبسي و و و و وطلعت لو جريد لا هي هاي جريد. يعني ما يعني زي ما كنا بنقول أيام زمان يعني إن ال إن the degree of enhancement of the brain stem glioma ما ما هوش ماشي مع الجريد مع الجريد بتاعه يعني كنا ايام زمان برضه صحيح يعني يعني احنا كنا ما ما كناش غلطانين ولا حاجه يعني اه طيب. بس هم يعني حطوها الوقت لما لقوا حكايه ال 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 الجين ميوتيشن ان دي بتبقى مع جين ميوتيشن فدي كويس هم اللي في الحاجات دي التريتمنت بتاعها بيبقى ايه؟ التريتمنت بتاعها بي 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 ما بيقدروش ياخدوا منها بايوبسي راديو او 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 او, أو سيرجري فبيبقى يا راديو يا كيمو سيرابي او راديو كيمو سيرابي مع بعض لكن دلوقتي بداوا يبقوا يبقوا اوير من ان حكايه الجين ميوتيشن دي ففي ناس دلوقتي بياخدوا منها بايوبسي على اساس ممكن في المستقبل يطلعوا لها ادويه يعالج تتعالجها فيعني ما يعني ما ما نستبعدش ان مثلا بعد كام سنه يكون الناس بياخدوا بعضه منها بايوبس هو بيبقى صعب بيبقى جدا يعني. بيبقى صعب جدا برضه في, في, في الاماكن دي آه. اه لا بيبقى صعب كمان ايفن ان حد يجازف ويعمل بايوبسي من ال... لما لا لما بقى لما بقى هيلاقوا سيرابي للجين ميوتيت تيومر ديت لا يبقى البينيفيت الاكثر ان احنا نعمل بايوبسي يبقى أوه. يعني يعني وبعدين الوقت بقى الاستيريو تاكتيك بايوبسي ممكن بتبقى يعني يعني ما هياش ما هياش ليس انفيزيف بتبقى ليس انفيزيف عن الايه؟ عن ال عن اي بايوبسي ثانيه يعني ها؟ اه اه لا انا اقصد هم كل ال يعني الغالبيه بيخافوا من البرين ستيم ليجند ان هو يعمل يعني الا لو هي حاجه فوكال اه اه بس يدخل يعمل دي باركنج يعني, يعني لما بياخدوا لما بياخدوا سمول ليجن بيشوفوا بقى ريسك بقى بي بيشوفوا ريسك يعني اوبوزيت البينيفيت يعني اه اه بس ده يعني هم يعني بادئين يعملوها الوقت في بعض السنترز على اساس ان بعد كده لما ي... لما يلاقوا لما يخترعوا دواء لل... للعلاج بتاعت بتاعي يبقى يستحق اه زي مثلا عندنا في الـ في الـ في حاجات بتبقى هرمونال ديبندنت في في البريست كانس بتجيب استجابه كويس قوي للاستروجين تريتمنت مثلا فديت لما نلاقي ان فيها استجابه للميديكال تريتمنت يبقى كويس قوي ايوه ايوه في حد تاني ليه خلاص كده؟ اه شكرا جزيلا شكرا جزيلا استاذنا دكتور محمد بور شكرا شكرا معاكم اه أنا هستأذن دكتورة رشا والدكتورة فاتن دكتور محمد العدلاني هي